Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy B Direct. And we're coming back at y'all with another video. Hey y'all, my bad I'm looking kinda bummy today, man. Went out any type of way, I had to throw something on, got a Lakers hoodie on with a Nike yellow Nike hat. So look, say we're gonna do a story time on matter of fact, let me ask y'all, how y'all been, man? How y'all how y'all okay, been, man? Been straight, man. All right, man, so it's like, let me get off this topic real quick. It's like, it's a disease that's going out. I'm sure everybody know about it. It's called the corona. And since we're going to be in the house a lot, hey, why not take advantage of it and make videos? Got to get gotta get that money. Some type of way, man, got to get that grind, man. I like entertaining people, so let's do it. So I got a story time for y'all today, man. We're going to get on the time. My first time doing it without a con. Okay. So look, I, I'm going to tell you right now. This like my, that was like, when I did this, it, this is going to make my, my third body. It's going to make my third body. So I'm going to go from the start. So we, it's me, one of my exes, her friends. My cousin Brandon, y'all saw in the last video with the glasses. Uh, my boy Jalen, the one in the basketball video. Like we all, and my boy Roosevelt, I almost forgot. Oh yeah, and my boy Ed and stuff, and my cousin stuff. So look, we all just decided to go, what was it? It was somewhere in Blue Island. It was like a fireworks fest. Yeah, that's what it is. It was, it was like, what was it? They was on some type of fireworks show. It was like, why not go? So, you know, everybody get there. We were cool. We link up. We said what up to each other. And that, the girl that I was with at the moment, she was there. So, I'm like, you know, kicking it, fucking with her, right? And then my homie aunt and my cousin, you know, they was their thing. So, they were fucking with each other, too. So, you know, we just all vibing, everybody vibing. The people that's not in a relationship still talking to each other, vibing. We all joking around. So, we walking around. We take a picture, man. Yeah, we took a picture. I think me and my girl decided to match that day. Yeah, we was matching that day. Like, we took a week to plan that out. We was matching that whole day. And then, Ed and stuff, they was matching too. So, we took a picture. Yeah, we took a picture. So, like... After that picture, it was literally nothing to do because it was like daytime. So, that's what we did. We just kept walking around. We, I went about, it was like a confession stand. I went about her some, my girl some kind of candy and all that. And we ate that, you know, love that type of shit. Let me stop. That's corny as fuck. But look, and we ate that. So then it just started getting dark. So, me, it was me. Aunt Steph, Brandon, and my uh one of I almost said one of my girls and my girlfriend at the time. We went walking away from the uh, little firework place because it was getting boring, so we go go get something to eat. So as we walking away, is is who was it? Is me and my girl in the back, Brandon, and and Steph in the front, like they far in front. You know me. I was I was just kissing all up on her, feeling all up on her, doing all that freaky shit. And Brandon and Aunt and stuff, I thought they were gonna stay together. So they did. And then all of a sudden, um, what happened? I believe they was walk they walked, they started taking off on us basically. And walking distance, because I kept stopping, you know, kissing and all that. So they took off. Uh we just walking, just trying to find a place to eat or something. So we're going to this like Mexican village. No offense to my Mexicans, but it's like it basically was a Mexican village. Cause it was it was a lot of taco <laughs> Don't take this to offense. Any type of race that involves Mexican, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, all that. But it they was like a straight taco place, burrito place, enchiladas. It was all that type of like Mexican shit. Like, no offense. Once again, it was that type of Mexican shit. So we walking and it's dark. I'm walking, we kissing. We actually stop. And you know, my freaky ass, 
I got to going out like feeling all you know her pussy. And then that's when like I start going in, I start fragrant, you know. That's that's simple shit, you know, slight shit. She was like she was moaning. So I was like, oh, you should let me put it in. And this is our first wait, was it? Yeah, this is like one of my no, this is the third link up. Yeah, it was the third link up. I was like, you should let me put it in. And she was a virgin. So she was like, what? And I was like, I don't know. So we just laughed. Even though I was serious. I think she was playing. But even though I was serious, so we just kept, you know, walking. I took my hand out of her pants. We just kept walking and walking. And then we turned about to walk into a restaurant. All of a sudden, I people look cut when I walked by. Like a little cut in the middle of some, um, and it's like two buildings. I people look cut, man. Don't judge me, y'all. Hey, I was just a horny nigga. So it's like a little cut. It was one building and another building. And it's like a pathway. So we walking by. I instantly, I look, I stopped and look in the cut. And that's when she stopped and then she looked too. Then she was like, come on. I'm like, okay. But at the time, like, I wasn't thinking like, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot a condom. So I'm like, damn, this is my first time going wrong. And then we all say, what if somebody see, man? My ass will be out. All I was thinking about every possibility. And then all of a sudden, we go into the cut, man. We just started kissing and kissing it. And you know, like, for my boys, how you like to turn the girl on, you be like, uh, well, you wanna, want some pussy? You'll be like, um, let me just get two strokes. Let me just be two strokes, then I'll stop. Or three strokes, then I'll stop. Or... Uh, that's let me, let me go, uh, it's, it's shit like that, man. Y'all get the concept of what I'm saying. So, I started, I kept repeating that. I was like, come on, it's only three stuff. She's like, no. But she wasn't like saying no as in no. No means no. She didn't say that. But she was saying like, no, like in a plan way. And I was like, okay. So we just kept kissing. I, once again, started up the move. I went in her pants, started fingering. I was saying she she get the get the money. Shit. I'm like, oh, you might as well. And she's like, oh my god, you know what you're doing, right? And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, you got a condom? I was like, no. And then she's like, oh my god. And then like we was both nervous at the time, but we like, fuck it. I'm I knew what I was, I thought I knew what I was capable of. Like I thought I like I knew my body at that time. I I thought I knew my body. Like knew every. Every time, like, when to pull out, everything. So, I, I instantly, what happened? I instantly get the unbuckling my pants. Then she was like, okay. But just three strokes. I was like, okay, okay. And she was a bird, so that shit, like, was tight, tight. And it was dark outside. So, look, this is the funny thing, bro. It was dark as hell outside. So, I, so, you know me. I pulled it out and everything. She, what is she? She bent over. Cause that's like the man that you can do outside. She bent over and holding the walls like this. <laughs> like literally she was holding the walls like this. To I guess keep herself up. So I was trying to put it in like, you know, I'm used to like the hole be small. Like I fuck with a lot of versions, but it's like, how can I say it? It was dark so I couldn't find the hole. Normally I put my finger to see what a hole is and it's light. So I'd be like, okay. Then I just got my thing, you know. But this time, since it was dark, I'm like, damn. So I just kept, I, I kept trying to uh, put it in. No, before I think some dirty shit, it was not her ass. I started to put it in her vagina. Like, you know, like the parts of the vagina that she was like, you know what, I'll put it in for you. I'm like, okay. I kind of felt embarrassed at the time. Then that's what she had. She got to wear her hand. She like, and she bent over like this. She got to wear her hand. She put it in for me. I'm like, Ooh. I'm thinking that shit was like going to be some basic shit. She's a virgin, so the hole is tight. So I had to like, what, like, fuck. No, nah, I can't even. All right, so this, this, it, this the hole. Like, the hole like this small, bro. Like, you know how girls know for the virgins, know the hole be so small. And my, I'm not even going to flex on her. My, my, um. Fuck, I'ma say my dick. Like it was like trying to like get in there. Like you gotta you gotta move around and swarm around in order to get in there. I was like, 
Then I was finally in there, so I just kept like stroking and stroking and stroking. And then after three strokes, I gave her three good strokes. She was moaning. I gave her three good strokes. What happened after that? After them three strokes, I was like, you want me to keep going or you want me to stop? My dumb ass, I pulled out. She was like, what she said? She said, now nah, you can keep going because we already doing it. So I'm like, okay. So she, once again, I couldn't find a hole. So she helped me. She got my dick, put it inside her vagina hole so we get that straight. So when she had me do that, I just thought like, Going crazy is getting in my rhythm. Because I got experience. She didn't. So I just started bam, 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 going crazy and crazy. Now all of a sudden, I'm pushing start like, oh, no, we just changed modes or something. Like, no other, like, that shit was like, I don't know, it just got extra, extra wet and warm. I was like, damn. The other bitches I fucked with, like, man, they pussy, like, they pussy was good, but hers, like, Phenomenal. At the time, I was like, phenomenal. So I'm instantly, hey, I just keep stroking. So look, I decided to go fast, bro. Like, like speed up a little bit. Like, you know, I was going 1.0, 1.0 speed. Now I wanted to speed up to like a 1.5. I skipped the whole 1.25. So I went up to a 1.5 speed. They get the bam, bam. All of a sudden, I feel a rush, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Ain't no worries. I got it. So I'm like, okay, I can get it in one more time. I can get like a good stroke in one more time. So as I'm, I'm, I'm like finna go, I'm, then boom, I instantly feel a rush. When I tell y'all, I put out so quick, like, oh my God, I put down the aim towards the wall because it was only two walls. So I put down the aim towards the wall and it was like, I was so nervous at the time, like I couldn't really think. I was like, bro, what if I nutty in her? But then I like I know I pulled out a time. Like I'm like, I'm Sam. I know me. So as soon as like I pulled out, my bad, somebody called me. I'm recording on my phone. Like, so, but as soon as I like pulled out, I instantly hurried up and turned towards the wall. Like I pulled out so I like I kind of pushed her because I went on God. At the time, like, I was 16. I was not doing no kids. No, 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 no. I was not ready. So I pushed her. I pushed and hurry up and aim towards the wall. And it was just going everywhere. I didn't know if it, if it, if it went inside her vagina. I didn't know. Well, pussy, I didn't know. Like, I was so lost. I'm like, bro, what if I really did? But then I thought, man, I'm straight. I'm straight. So after that, she actually started. I was like, uh, she was like, you done? I was like, yeah. What? what? Are you done? I was like, yeah. Then like the nut just, just like, it was all on the wall and shit. And then it was some on my dick. You know, I'm just going to tell y'all this part. So after she buttoned up her pants and, oh shit, buttoned up her pants and, um, buttoned up her pants, you know, pull up her pants and button up her pants and everything. I'm finna walk out, you know. She go pull me back. She don't get the second. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm looking like, bro, what the fuck? So she just instantly started like the sucking my shit. I'm like, wow. And it was after I nut. Every boy know this. After you nut, you want a girl to stop, bro. That feeling is so like for the girls out there, do not keep going with a boy nut. Like, do not keep like you jerking them off. Sucking, don't do that. It's like, yeah, we we light here, but like once we bust, it's like, it's like it's a little tingle. It's like ticklish slash weird feeling. It's like every time like you keep sucking after we bust, you just moving this shit. Like that shit feel weird. So I know how to do that for a little bit. And I was like, uh huh. So I had pulled out. It was our first time sucking dick. So, so it was like. I might even put her up. It was, it was. I felt teeth, but it, it, it wasn't as hard. So I was like, okay, okay. So like, when I felt it, then that's yeah, that's when she was like, um, am I um? Can you feel my teeth? And I was like, yeah. And that's when she started like using more like tug and throat. I was like, okay. But then at the time it was still feeling weird, like I said. So you know I me, mean? I had I was like, come on. 
And then I just, I just told her like to stop. Cause, and then I started pulling out my pants and my drawers and shit. And started like heading back. Cause I'm like, that's it for weird. So we both walking together, heading back. And at the time, like while I'm fucking her, my cousin calling me. He tell me that Anna's, and his stuff then left him and ain't take him uh, with him. They was supposed to be going out to eat, but they ain't take him. So I was like, damn. So I was getting my phone blown up. I was like, damn. So I got the call him back. He like, bro, you straight? Then I was like, Brandon just left because um, I ain't going to say it's not in heat, like his condition, but like, because he, he was nervous, scared. All that. So I was like, damn, I feel fucked up. Then, so we walking back. That's chilling. She, you know, like, when you get done fucking a girl and she limping, like, like, walking funny and then limping and stuff, walking weird and everything, it's like, the the girl I was fucking with at the time, she was, like, doing all type of limps. Like, she was limping, walking funny, s slow walking, like, she had, she not, she was like, 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 I just knew at that moment, I tore her ass up, bro. I just knew. I'm like, I turned around, I started smiling. I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, you that nigga, bro. You that nigga. And then she was like, what's funny? I was like, nothing. <laughs> then we just laughed. We walking back. And yeah, we meet up with everybody. You know, Brandon left, but it's cool. We meet up with everybody. Yeah, like, we watch the fireworks. And then that's when we just all went home. We had a good night. I had a good night. I know for sure. I was like, yeah. That was, that was like, yeah, that was my first time fucking outside. I'm like, okay. Okay. Like, yeah, man, I was I was this close to having a little Sam. Sam the fifth, man. I was this close. But, man, man, if you like the video, man, hit that like button, subscribe, man. We're going to be coming back with more videos. I need more video suggestions. Uh, I know y'all want to see me go back to the mall, but it's like, this virus is getting serious, even though I think it's fake. But anyway, we'll, we'll make another video about it. But, like, yeah, that's, this virus thing going to have us on a lockdown and everything. School's going to be closed all, for, like, two weeks and all that. So, yeah, we're going to be coming with videos almost every day. But, yeah, man, like I said, make sure I subscribe, like, up. And we out. And do I grab finale. And it's your boy! Be direct, and we out.